Describe the transformation applied to the graph of p of x is equal to 2 to the x that forms the new function q of x equal to 2 to the x minus 3 plus 4. So the answer to this question, you have to know a little something about transformation of parent functions, which is what I've um, written out here in red. So let's say we have a parent function p of x, and this could be anything. It could be exponential, it could be logarithmic, sinusoidal, whatever, okay? If we subtract a units from x within the function, what that does is it will translate the function, translating me, meaning moving left, right, up, or down, right, or the combination of the two. So it's going to translate it a units to the right. If I add a units to x, that will translate it a units to the left. If I add a to the parent function, that will shift the entire function up a units. If I subtract a units from p of x, then that will shift it down a units. If I multiply p of x by a, what that will do is it will cause either a vertical, I'm sorry, it will cause a vertical, either stretch or compression. So it will stretch when a is uh, an absolute value uh, greater than 1. What that translates to, or what that means, is any value uh, greater than 1 or any values uh, less than negative 1, that will cause a stretch in the vertical direction. Uh, if a happens to be less than 1 but greater than negative 1, that will cause a compression. And then similarly, if we multiply the, um, the independent variable x by, again, uh, a factor of a, what that does is it's going to cause a horizontal stretch or compression. And oddly enough, or not oddly enough, um, it's, it's the, the, um, the stretch and compression, uh, the conditions are reversed. So we're going to have a stretch if a happens to be uh, the absolute value of a less than 1. So meaning it's going to stretch when a is below 1 but greater than negative 1. And there will be a compression when a is greater than 1 or less than negative 1. And the way to remember this is the way that I think about it, you know, for horizontal stretch or compression, is I think of a sinusoidal function. So if you have a sine function, right, and um, the, the sine function, which has a high frequency, like a is greater than, you know, uh, greater than 1, then the, you're going to have a curve that's compressed. When a is less than 1, what happens then is the, the wave gets stretched, right? So it's really the opposite of what happens in the vertical direction. If a is greater than 1, right, then we have a vertical stretch. If a is less than 1, then we're going to have a compression. Anyway, so you need to have these things uh, in, uh, in order or uh, understood to answer this question uh, thoroughly and um, without any issue. So uh, what, what's the uh, transformation here? Since we're subtracting 3 from x, we are going to be translating this horizontally. And then since we're adding 4 to the overall function, we are going to be pu uh, pushing the or moving the function vertically. So there is going to be a translation... three units to the right and four units up.